is my audio for this intro. I don't fucking know. It's already Thursday. I haven't even done anything this week. It's amazing. I had a three day vacation off just sitting at home doing nothing because I could. Oh, it felt good. So today I figured I better be productive. Uh, we got the Lexus in the garage. I'm gonna put that Euro line back on. It's in the back seat. Tim sealed it up for me. Hopefully it's sealed now. My dad's been working on this. He's got these cool little belt lines in the in the bed, and I think that's cool. So I'm gonna do uh, a banner, uh, my front wheel, uh, front brake pads, adjust the camera in the rear so it's not so crazy when it doesn't need to be because there's lots of wheel gap and uh, adjust the ride height in the front because it's a little tall. So adjusting coilovers is probably one of my least favorite things to do. So as of now, um, what do I have? The back left is about the only one that I am happy with. Um, I think the front left is getting there. The front right should be good now at the height that I just put it to. Um, this one needs to go lower a little bit and I just ordered 30 millimeter spacers. These are 25 and they don't quite poke enough. Oh lordy. For what I want, they just tuck a little bit. So I got a 30 for the front and then I'll move these uh, 25s that are in the front and I'll move them to the back. The back doesn't have any spacer on it. So as you can see, I could use a little bit of spacer in here. And Maybe even more than an inch, but an inch will have to do for now. That side has more camera than this one does. I think there's some adjustment to uh, to be had there. We are cruising around, Darby and I. It's so bouncy. We uh, just ate some B-dubs, Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, we're cruising in the Lexus, which I will take a video of as we get out because... Uh, I didn't video it yesterday, the final product. It's pretty low. Uh, it's so bouncy. And I just it made it worse. Kind of bounces off the ground a lot. And uh, we're going to go to Tyler's house, the Beamer guy, Tyler Rincon. And we are going to play some Assetto Corsa and have some brewskis. So I will film there if I remember, which I'm going to try very hard to remember because I have a very you bad see, memory. He has me, so I'll remember. Oh, okay. Apparently I'm going to remember now. Damn, son. This is what we're working with now. Man, I wish this car actually looked this good. The camera makes it look 12 times better. So, it's uh it's quite low. We got we got belly trays scrubbing on the ground, but you know, that's the Heinz Boy garage way. And I got new spacers on the way, so hopefully these will uh look a little better. So we're gonna go play some Macedo Corsa and I'll see you there. That's awkward. Oh, there's a flash. There's a light. Oh my god. Ow! Spotify, <laughs> you can actually set up cues. What's the number? The number for what? The number! The number for what? Oh, the oh, number! I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna go four. What? All right, what? We're, we're doing we're doing what? time attack. We're doing time attack Whoa. drinking. Whoever has the fastest time does not drink. If you have the slowest time out of the four of us, you fucking drink. So we're doing that fucking right now. Okay. I'm just headed home right now. On Saturday evening, um, I'm not in my Lexus. I am in the Tahoe, my dad's Tahoe, because I accidentally left the keys in the trunk and then the car locked itself, which I imagined would uh, happen at some point because that always happens on new cars. So, I'm gonna go get the spare key. All we did today, I forgot to record because I was kind of pissed off trying to get into the Lexus. Um, all we did today was get the bed off, that was it. I drove it around town a little bit, and uh, then I started the disassembly process. So, me and some buds are gonna go get some buh 
both, whichever you want to pronounce it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go do that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> We're in the back of BJ's car. We just had some, uh, some beef noodle pho. Uh, pho. 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 <laughs> pho. And we're gonna go freaking get some freaking ice cream. And, uh, we're gonna watch scary movies. Excuse the noise in the background, my dad is sanding. But here's one of the failures that I found at the event. Uh, the bolt for the watts kept coming loose. Maybe if we can focus this thing. There we go. So I kept tightening it. You can see it was flattening out the tube. And this is supposed to be, you can see it right across from this weld to this weld. It's supposed to be flat. But it was getting sucked in from all the weight from the, the sway bar and from the watts was too much weight for it, so. I'm gonna go get like a, uh, a dowel, like a steel spacer. I'll, uh, I can't record out there because it's loud, but I'll just show you what it looks like right now. After a little closer inspection, you can see why it failed. These two pieces I did not weld together. I just welded it around the perimeter. So that's where it was, uh, that one looks even worse. You can see that's where the, uh, the fault was. But I'll get a little, uh, steel spacer dowel thingy and, uh, run it through there and it should be good. So what we're gonna do here is use this little, uh, collar type of thing. And uh, my dad's gonna go use the lay that Adam cycles and cut it off right here so it's not too long. But then the bolt goes through here and it rests on the collar on both sides so it won't squish it like it did before. All right, so this is the new and improved Watts. So I will uh, take this off and show you, but there's that uh, large steel spacer in there, and uh, that should do a lot better. you can see this assembly is uh, basically done now got the whole tube front off I got the wheels off um, I got the bed off axles out all the three link and stuff is out um, I just need to do a little bit of fabricating here I want to put some plates on the top of these and maybe on the bottom right here and then maybe do a little bit of reinforcement like here and on these two. And then we will paint stuff and it will be look good looking and it will not rust like it already has. A little bit. Here's all the stuff I've taken out so far. Tube front, shock hoops, fuel cell, drive shaft, bash bar, wheels, bumper, doge. So my... My car keeps making this noise when I go over bumps since I've lowered it a lot. And I knew it sounded like some metal on metal contact because I've had that before. And here's my issue. You can see that. The uh, upper control arm is hitting the bottom of the strut tower right there. So yeah, I'll have to figure something out for that. That's all we got for this day at the HBG. 
I uh, got a lot of this assembly done. I'm gonna have to see where I can find POR 15 paint because I ordered it online last time. So I have to look locally and see if I can get it anywhere. Um, I've got a list of stuff to do. The next kind of deadline is uh, August 7th or 1st or 8th or something for Ice Cream Cruise, a big car show in Omaha at the same racetrack uh, that the drift event was at. So that'll be cool. So I'm just gonna get to prepping this stuff this week and hopefully find some paint. And I'm gonna do a little fabricating on these, make, make something here to make this a little more strong and on the rear end to do those things. So I guess you'll see that throughout the week. And I will see you tomorrow. Members of the uh, animal kingdom, you two-legged walkers, you. Anyway, man, I say some stupid shit sometimes. Um, we're here, and we're working on the Lexus a tiny bit, even though this thing needs work. Working on the Lexus a tiny bit, just to make it a little bit cooler. Um, my spacers came in today. So this is what this... Jesus, fireworks, bro. Do you even need that? I don't think that's necessary, okay? I'm trying to film a video. So here's what we have before the spacer. You can see it's minimal poke, not fat daddy status. And the rear clearly could use some work. So then this side is with the spacers. This looks much, much better. And the front is just five millimeters wider. It's perfect. Here it is, I took it on, on a ride around the block and uh, I didn't feel any rubbing or anything, so. And that's saying a lot for these Nevada roads. They're, that's a good, this is a good road, honestly. Down there is the bad stuff. So yeah, she looks way better now. Got the poke I like. So I'm just starting to get all this rear stuff painted and some of it looks all right up here. But then you can see like down here, it's got lots of this is really really bad oops I touched it um it's got really bad fish eyes on it so I don't know if that part just didn't get cleaned as well I used acetone and up here I focused a lot and it turned out pretty well but this stuff didn't so I'm gonna have to take all that off tomorrow and uh, redo some of that stuff but overall I mean it laid on pretty smooth for being the paint on like a brush on application so uh, I'll just have to get it all to look like that and it'll be set so that's it for today I will see you tomorrow when we come back and paint some shit we're gonna kick it old school here with some old uh, 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 train tracks here we are on a Wednesday um, I just fixed some of this paint and stuff that was all nasty and I primered it with self-etching primer. And I took the fuel cell out. I'm going to start prepping all this stuff and also prime that. And I got to figure something out to do with this. I'm not sure what I want to do. I kind of want to add another brace here. And I also have to cut, uh, trim these down because if you can see the, uh, Time joint hits it so I'll do that quick and then uh, I'll try to think of if I'm gonna brace this anymore or not we're wrapping up the end of the day as for what I did um, you see I've kind of been avoiding working on the truck hardcore so instead of working on the drift truck I quick just took a rattle can 
and sprayed the bottom half and the license plates of my truck because I was tired of the rusty silver and the license plates being different colors. And it actually didn't turn out too bad at all. I mean, it's dirty now because uh, it rained, but I think if I did the whole truck like that, it would uh, it would not look so bad. So I think I'll probably do that before I sell it and just rattle paint it all uh, semi-gloss black because this paint is just very, very bad. It's really bad up here. It's really bad on the roof. So maybe that'll make someone want it a little more. And this IPOR15, the back half here, this is all POR15 here up too, but I just sanded some spots down because they were that fisheye grossness and uh, got them with self-etching primer. So that's all good. Tomorrow I will, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go over all this with semi-gloss black just because this isn't the most consistent uh, coloring. So I'll probably do the back half tomorrow along with these, all the front end pieces. And then uh, when that's drying over overnight, the, thing, the reason I can't do it all at once is because these, these brake lines and fuel lines are in the way. So I'll move those back down to the bottom and then paint the front half. And as for these, again, it's POR, it's brush on. So it's not like the best looking. There's brush marks in it and stuff, but I'm okay with that because it's, I'm kind of shifting, I've been shifting more to a function versus form and I really want it to be protected. I don't want it to, you know, a year down the road or next year in the, in the spring it gets, you know, rust starts poking through because I didn't prep them well enough. So that's where paint over rust works because you paint over any rust that's there and you win. So basically after that's done, I gotta do the tie rods. I have to do the three link and the watts. I gotta re redo those because they got brake fluid on them and it ate through. So I'll, I'll just paint those with that, that semi-gloss and self-etching primer. And then I have to do the watts and I'll probably repaint the sway bar because that's kind of in bad shape as well. And then after that, I'll probably do some interior stuff, um, like get the carpet in there and uh, you know just the trim pieces like all of that stuff up over on the wall. And we're just going to start to try to make it look better. So that means uh, probably flares, I'll start doing those after, after all this stuff's done. I'll do the little stuff like uh, you know clip these shorter. Probably tidy up the engine bay a little bit too. Like uh, I'm gonna get valve covers, ones that are just uh, flat. You can see my JB weld broke here. Uh, that don't have anything on them, just plain aluminum, no breathers or anything. And then I'll drill holes and get uh, like a male AN fitting, and then put a nut on the underside so it's not super jank like that is. And I'll paint the brake booster and those little spacers there and uh, probably just wax the truck minus the parts where the clear is gone because I think that looks cool as it is. So we're just doing some uh, visual upgrades and some, once it's back on the road, some drivability upgrades so that uh, I can drive it to Omaha because that car show is at the same, it's on the track that we drifted on. You just park on the track. So I have to drive there in my drift car, which should be okay, I mean. It's basically just a stock box body in a truck, so we should do all right. So, that's it for today. Um, we got a decent amount done. So, I will see you in the next video where we continue prepping this beautiful skid machine for majestical awesomeness. I don't make sense very much. But, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.